That was pretty impressive, huh? Hope you don't mind me cutting in. As you saw, almost every sprite asset in Duke Nukem 3D has been made into a voxel. For the first time in classic gaming history, Duke Nukem 3D gets a fleshed out voxel pack. The voxel pack hasn't been perfected yet, but it should be soon. In the meantime, wouldn't you want to try it out? I knew you would. So head on over to Duke4.net, go to the hosted sites tab and click the HRP link. Once you're on the HRP site, click the GitHub link, provided in the news feed. Once you're on GitHub, go to Moxel's pre-release number 2. Now, under the Assets tab, click on the Duke 3D Moxel zip file to download it. Now, you should do one more thing before running Duke 3D with the Moxel pack. Open the zip file, then double-click on Duke3D.dev, it should open in Notepad. Now type include Duke3D underscore fixes dot def, as seen on the screen. Close it and be sure to save it. Cut or copy the voxel pack, and paste it into your autoload folder, located in your eduke32 directory. If you don't have an autoload folder, create one. If you really want to make sure that the voxels will work with the fixes, then open your fixes zip file and double-click do3d.dev. Enter the line, include do3d underscore voxels.dev. Close it and save it. And you're done. Both mods are now compatible with each other. So go ahead and run edu32 to start playing. As always, make sure the autoload folder is enabled. There you go, Duke Nukem 3D perfected, in all its voxelized glory. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell. Thanks for watching.